Good evening. The zombie-infested mining town of Ravenholm is one of the most acclaimed and popular locations in Half-Life 2. But despite its fan-favorite status, there are multiple locations from the town, appearing in spin-offs and unreleased media, that I've never really seen covered in depth. While it'd be very hard to make a case for them being canon, I do want to shine a spotlight on them as I think they're all novel and intriguing. To start things off... Resistance is a level for Half-Life 2 Deathmatch created by German mapmaker Jonathan Linker. It was officially added to the game on April 13, 2005, as the first runner-up in an official map contest run by Valve. Resistance takes place in and around a dilapidated warehouse. Combine posters, insignia, and charging stations seem to imply the location was once used as a civil protection outpost. Just outside the bounds, we can see a train yard, which is the same one Gordon traverses to get to the Shorepoint Resistance base at the end of the Ravenholm chapter. Because it exists on the border of the coast, not far from the rebel base shore point, I find it likely this warehouse was abandoned due to an antlion infestation. The collapsed floor corroborates this, as we know antlion's preferred method of infiltration is underground burrowing. Thus, it seems DM Resistance's setting is that of a combine warehouse outpost, which was overrun by antlions and promptly abandoned. Moving on to the next location... The dock is a scrapped location from Ravenholm that appeared in the 2002 E3 pre-release presentation of Half-Life 2. Prior to the conception of the Black Mesa East facility, Gordon was set to arrive at Ravenholm by waterway at the end of the canals, abandoning his airboat at the town's dock and setting out on foot. Indeed, these docks were the original intended starting point for the We Don't Go to Ravenholm chapter. This iteration of Ravenholm donned a sundown setting, and a lake we obviously never saw in the final game. Similarly notable is the presence of cranes and other construction equipment, as well as ichthyosaurs swimming in the town's lake. But what I personally find captivating about this lake and dock is that there's nothing stopping you or I from considering its existence canon. Yes, its geometry was scrapped and a new entrance to the town was developed, but the location where this lake once sat remains unexplored and interpretable in the final game. In fact, back in 2018, a Russian source modder named Brigi made a video showcasing their work combining this dock into the retail version of Ravenholm. It's pretty intriguing and I would recommend checking it out. But now, for the last and most obscure location on the list... Zombie House is a nickname given to the map Mission 020304. The level comes from the battle mode of the Japanese arcade game Half-Life 2 Survivor, and to my knowledge it hasn't ever appeared or been referenced in any other official game or media. From what I can tell, the only prompt the player is given during this mission is that they're in Ravenholm, and they need to blow up these zombie houses in order to win. What immediately strikes me about this map is that it's a spitting image of the scrap dock area I just covered. The map uses the same exact textures for its buildings and terrain, and even sports the same skybox. And given the other ways in which Half-Life 2 Survivor interpolated beta content like the Combine Assassin and the Sniper Rifle, I don't think it's hard to draw a line connecting Half-Life 2 Survivor's Zombie House and the Half-Life 2 Beta's dock. Apart from that though, I don't actually have too much more to say about this level. It's really small, and it's also really nondescript. There's no enterable buildings, no tunnels or underground segment, and no landmarks or hints to help gauge where this location would actually fall in relation to the other areas in Ravenhall. It's a nice novelty, and it's pretty weird, but if you've never heard of it or played it before, I assure you you're not missing out on much. Well, that's it for the forgotten locations of Ravenholm. Did you know about any of these? Maybe you know of one I missed. Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and have a good day.